Jumbo from Kenya. This is Kim Carpenter with World Changing Women, and I am here in the gorgeous Maasai Mara with my friend Eric. We've been spending the last week together with the Unstoppable Foundation, whose main partner is Free the Children in this area. They're doing incredible things to rejuvenate whole communities. I'll let Eric talk a little bit more about that, but I just wanted to let you know about this and how powerful that this work is. So Eric's been living here actually for the last year and a half, working with teams on the ground. Tell us a little bit about what that year and a half has been like. It's, uh, it's been phenomenal. Uh, just personally, I've had an absolute blast here. I work uh, here with Free the Children, Me to We, uh, as you mentioned, Unstoppable Foundation, a very key partner of ours. Uh, and with them, we've been able to do so, so much work. Um, and something that I've really enjoyed is being able to uh, work on the front lines um, and to be able to, to see the growth and the evolution in all the different communities. Um, so I, I go around with a lot of different groups, adult groups, uh, youth groups, Unstoppable Foundation. And so I've been able to see all the different school buildings, all the different health projects, all the different water kiosks and borehole that we've uh, constructed and been able to see as the communities take ownership over the projects and to be able to see as it builds up over time. So even in just a year and a half, we've seen so much growth. Uh, we've seen, you know, farms, we've seen community gardens spreading from those farms. We've seen the health clinics growing, maternity wings. We've seen dental units being put in. We've seen tons of school buildings and classrooms with Unstoppable Foundation that have been constructed over that time period. And that's just a tiny uh, window that I've been here in. So it's pretty exciting. It is super yeah. exciting. And it's been wonderful to see that and to actually see the difference that it makes in a human being's life. That's what's really struck me the most is that when you think about waters and school and healthcare, those are kind of things. But to actually be here and to see in the children's eyes the difference it makes when there's malnutrition, when there's not fresh water versus the children that have that, that have nutrition, that have water, that have education, they just are so much more lit up as human beings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. You see that every time you go to a community, uh, you talk with community members, the parents, the elders, the children, uh, and the impact it's made and, and their appreciation for it. And I'm very appreciative of myself too. Yeah. yeah, and everybody's so proud. It's so beautiful to see the elders in the community, the chiefs of the tribe, and the parents who are, you know, it's really quite a sacrifice to allow your child to go to school and to, instead of staying home and helping with the chores. There's so many things to do. There's water to be carried there's animals to be tended to but they really have a commitment to their children getting an education absolutely you know they've taken complete ownership over um, these projects and uh, with unstoppable free the children me to we uh, another key key partner are the communities and so yes. without them none of this would be possible yes that's right and and I think that one of the really incredible things that unstoppable foundation is doing with the partner free the children is they engage the local community members from the very beginning and they're the ones doing all the work I was really surprised by that Eric that mm -hmm. you know you were saying you're obsolete you know it's time to move out and let the really let the community members take over mm -hmm. so talk a little bit about how how you do that um, so there's a lot of different committees that are, are formed at the initial stages of the projects. Uh, there's, for example, the education committee, which will manage the schools and anything to do with that uh, pillar. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a water committee, which manages the boreholes, uh, the water kiosks, the rainwater harvesting systems. Um, and then we have a lot of community mobilizers that work uh, with Free the Children who will go around um, and uh, be the contact people for each uh, community. So they play a very key role, um, and, and like uh, we were talking about earlier, within five years we do want to be able to pull out of a, a community and have it completely uh, sustainable. And so that's our, our end goal, and, uh, and so far it's, it's working well. Awesome. Yeah. Sustainability. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in contributing or learning more about these organizations, you can find information just below this video. Jumbo. See you.